everything all right, Gary? Oh, yeah, it couldn't be better. I'm taking refs out. Oh, I'll come with you. What's up with him? Sergeant's assessment. No stripes for Gary. What about June? Sergeant Ackland to you, Constable. You mean you're not sure? I thought you knew everything before it happened. Yeah, well, I heard a rumour, obviously. But then when you didn't say anything in parade... Rachel, right? there's a time and place for everything, and now is as good a time as any. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before you hear it from a more unreliable source, my assessment, I got a result. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, of course, I knew that already. I heard it from Marion. But, uh, well, Gary failed, is that right? Reg. What? What's that? She's made an excellent acting sergeant. I just hope Gary's performance doesn't suffer. He's very disappointed. Well, if you can't accept rejection, you shouldn't try for a promotion. Well, let me know if you think you need some encouragement. Or a kick up the pens. That too. See what happens next week, then, shall we? Hello, Andrew. We're back. Any problems? No, sir, all quiet. You heard about June, Bob? Yes, sir. Very pleased. Though we're going to miss her. Yes, well, it's always sad to lose a good officer. Still, I gather Gary McCann's pretty cut up about it. Perhaps you'd have a word with him, Andrew. Tell him, as always, next year. Of course, sir. Hmm. Well, we'll leave you to it, then. Sir, when's June on refs? Uh, she's on now, sir. I'd like to give her a pat on the back. Could you ask her to come up and see me? Yes, sir. Cheers. Oh, Bob. Night duty, you've lost quite a few to this bug that's going around. Do you think you'll find a couple of PCs to help out till Four two? hours over, so I'm no trouble. <laughs> Do we have to lose June? So there's no strings you can pull it out. You think I shouldn't? Absolutely. Well, does Jim want to stay? Well, I would have thought so, yes. I think we'd better be sure before I start calling in any favours, Derek. Well, we'll have a few beers in the Blue Anchor, and then we'll go to this Indian I know, yeah? Yeah. The Raj? No, no, it's one just off Jamaica Lane. I can't remember what it's called, but it stays open really late. And then on to a club, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's do it, June. Yeah, sure, sure. The attention of any units wanting to work late tonight. Two PCs are required for four hours overtime. <laughs> any takers? Over. Not tonight, darling. Got a headache, love. No, but I will have in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> See, I asked from 358. Could you put me down for that? Receive, Gary. Well, he wouldn't have been alive and so anyway. Yeah, 171, uh, me as well, sir. Received. You still want to go with that, Reg? Well, I can try and enjoy myself. It's not going to be easy. If you want three stripes bad enough, I'm sure you'll get them eventually. And then wait ten years for a posting. Oh, come on, Gary. OK, there's been a logjam, but things are on the move again. Sergeants are getting promoted now, so they'll be posted to be filled next year, or the year after that. Or the year after that, or the year after that. So in other words, I shouldn't give up hope. No, you shouldn't. Even though my chance of accelerated promotion just ground to a halt. It might take you a little longer to get up the ladder, but the ladder's still there. Yes, only with a few more rungs on it for me now. Is that really so bad? I'll be honest with you, Gary. I've never seen the attraction of the sort of job that fast-track officers end up doing. Who wants to be a chief inspector in charge of information technology or uh, management resources? Yes, sir, but a chief inspector is a chief inspector. On paper, maybe. But if you want respect, at any rank, you have to earn it. It won't do you any harm to spend a bit more time at the sharp end before you start putting pips on your shoulder. You think I'll stay around long enough for that to happen? I hope so. But it's up to you. Obviously. Obviously. So, all we have to decide now is whether you stay here or move on. Well, have I got a choice, sir? Well, it's a possibility. I'm uh, looking into it. I want to know how you felt before I actually approached the area. <sighs> well, I mean, I haven't really thought about it. I mean, for a start, I didn't think I was going to pass first time, and then I assumed that I'd be posted if I did. Well, everything's gone very smoothly with two stripes, hasn't it, June? I think so, sir. Well, why should it be any different with three? Well, I don't suppose it would. Well, then. I think I need some time to think about my options, sir, if that's OK. Yes, of course. Take all the time you like. Just let me know when you've decided. Thank you, sir. I expect you've got some celebrating to do. Oh, yes, sir. Let me guess. A few pints and then a curry. <laughs> <laughs> When's that? Uh, tonight, actually, sir. Oh. Yeah, we're um, going to the Blue Anchor and then on to some Indian place that Dave Quinnan knows. Is that straight after late shift, all of you? Most of them, yes. I mean, please do come along, sir. Sir, you'd be very welcome. Really? You sure? Well, see you at the Blue Anchor at ten, then.
Can I have a unit report an attempted burglary? Nine Dello Road. Dello Road, any units deal? Fifteen minutes to the end of shift and no one wants the deal. What a surprise. David Nick should be free by now. They can't take all night to deal with the central station alarm. Well, they should be clear. Sierra Oscar 86 from Sierra Oscar receiving over. Go ahead, George. Nine Dello Road, can you deal? Negative. We're still tucked up with that alarm in Bream Crescent. Still tucked up. Who's he trying to kid? Correct PR procedures at all times, please. Steve? Side? Nine Dello Road. What about it? You're dealing. Oh, well, sorry, it's nearly ten You've got a pandy, you've got fifteen minutes. What more do you want? Sarge. I've just been speaking to the AC. You still at work? Yeah. It's usually there till ten o'clock. That's how you become assistant commissioner these days. It seems it may be possible for June to stay here, if she wants to. Area think we've got a strong claim on her. Oh, good, excellent. But it's got to be her decision, Derek. What do you mean? Well, however much we might want to hang on to an excellent officer like June, it's only fair that she makes the decision herself, without any pressure from above. I wouldn't dream of trying to influence June, sir. No, of course you wouldn't, Derek. How come you never did the exams, Dave? Didn't fancy the extra work? I fancy the extra dosh. <coughs> Gary, you sure you wouldn't rather have a curry? No, no thanks, Dave. I'm positive. Well, old Gary's not used to failure. Why don't you tell him where you cope, Reg? Hello, Gary. Come into the pub. No! Sir. Sir. Still here, Reg? Not like you? Oh, yeah, well, I've been your team out till too. Well, aren't we the lucky ones? Still, I expect you could do some overtime, my uh, Gabby had a baby. The wife had it, actually. A little boy. Oh, congratulations. That's quite an achievement at your age. Boy, watch it. Come along, chaps. Out and about, please. So. Cheer up, Gary. Might never happen. Remind me of Slater's first name. It's Nick. Ah, uh, yeah. There you go, Jay. See you from Bob and me. Well done. Excuse me. Nick. Yes, sir. Dave, what are you having? Oh, thanks, sir. I'll have um, a brand in American ginger, please. A large one. Dave? Yeah, I'll put it on, please, sir. Derek? Scotch, please. Alcohol oh, abuse is a terrible thing, you know. Responsible for more crime and misery than all the other drugs put together. Still, it has its uses. Cheers you up when you're feeling down. No, no, no. In fact, alcohol is a depressant. You might think it's making you feel happier at the time, but dismay and despondency are just round the corner. We're even closer. Yeah, well, I understand how you feel, Gary. Can I just say that? Yes, Reg, you've just said that. I mean, I've known disappointment in my time, you know. No, really. Well, yes, but I always bounce back. I don't let it get me down. I like to think it's my indefatigable spirit that's got me where I am today. What, looking for drunks at chucking out time? Yeah, well. Reg, this is not why I joined up. The recruitment brochures I read all had pictures of smiling 30-year-old inspectors on them. Some of them are even black. CID, special branch. There was so much to choose from, I didn't know what I wanted to do, and now look at me. What well, could be worse? Yeah, how? I thought it was just the cat from upstairs at first. It's always scratching at the windows. But then I heard a noise at the front door. Oh, hang on, no, no. It was the back door first, and then the front door. After I'd been through to check, I'd locked the back door. Oh, and I had, of course. I'm very security conscious. Well, you have to be around here. Anyway, I heard someone at the front door, so I went to see who was there. And you never guess what. What? Do you want me to start again? No, that won't be necessary. Just tell me what happened next, please. <laughs> so this deadly hush descends upon the room, right, and the nun turns around and says to the... To... Don't let me interrupt your joke, please. Wait, it's all right, I'll finish. No, you ain't, Dave. Go on, what does the nun say? I'll tell you later. How's your glass, Jim? Oh, I'm fine, thank you, sir. Oh, mine's empty. Oh, geez. Another? Oh, that's very kind. I'll have a vodka and orange, please. Double, of course. <laughs> of course. Anybody else? No, no, no. Large whiskey, chaser, please. Oh. <clears throat> you don't think he's coming for curry and all, do you? Oh. oh, sorry, sir. Just that, you know, we want to let our hair down a bit. And it's a bit difficult to let your hair down when Mr. Brownlow's here. A bit difficult for you at the best of times, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> I think you've had a bit too much oh, to drink. All right, June. I can take a joke with the best of you. 
Well, go on then. What did the nun say to the rabbi? Quick, the it back. 1616 Setcote Avenue. A disturbance believed a man and a woman fighting. Any units to deal? Sierra 1. Sierra Oscar 2-2. Two, two. Sierra 1. Sierra Oscar 2-2. Okay, two, two. Received. Reg, they won't need us there as well. Oh, so we're just going to sit here, aren't we? Yeah, sounds good to me. So, I'll scope from 85 or 7. 85 ahead. Yeah, I said Cot Avenue. Can you show us a sister now? Received. Reg. Anyway, the salesman finally had enough of this. He banged his fist on the counter and said, For your information, they do not make wine in Venice. <laughs> very good, sir, very good, yeah. But I think we'll be going there, don't you? They've only just called last orders, Derek. Anybody want another drink? Yeah, uh, actually, I really do think we ought to leave the troops to have their fun, sir. It is the steering committee first thing in the morning. Oh, yes, perhaps you're right. I'll, um, I'll just say goodbye to Jim. Good night, all. Sir, uh, <clears throat> you sure you don't want to stay, sir? I've heard you're a bit partial to curry. I am, but they pay merry hell with my digestive system. Yeah, I'm the same, sir. My duvet's on the ceiling after a vegetable biryani. Actually, I was talking about heart. All oh, right. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Good night, all. Sir, yeah. See you in the morning. Sir, what are we going to go for this curry anyway? Oh, I don't know. I think Dave's supposed to be sorting it out. Oi, Dave. Dave, what about this ruby then? All oh, right. You ready to eat? Yeah. Stop. I'll eat some calves. Great. I could eat a horse. Yeah. You're a meat vindaloo, and you probably will. <laughs> Can I give you a lift, Derek? Uh, no, thanks. No. no? I'm quite safe here. You know. I've only been drinking water. <laughs> I'm sure you have, sir, but uh, the walk will do me good. Clear my head a bit. Feeling a bit fussy, eh? <laughs> yes, just a bit. Well, I'll say goodnight then. See you in the morning. Right. Bright and early. Yes. There's nothing I enjoy more than a good night out with the lads. Do you want us lessons to go then? No, no, you knew what I meant. Oh, this must be the place. What makes you say that? Any units running to Sedcott Avenue, cancel. Sufficient on scene. Next time, perhaps you'll listen to me. Well, now that we're in, might as well see what's happening. Reg, can you stay in the car and leave that lot to deal? Well, I won't do any harm to check. We're still the same rank, remember? Crown on them, Raj. Okay. Still here, Steve? No, I left an hour ago. Had they gone from the pub the time you get there? Not from Quickside. It's a bit like a wait, this, isn't it? Well, I wouldn't say that, no. Well, we're sort of celebrating the loss of a friend, like, after a funeral. June's only being posted. It's not the same as dying. Well, it is if you're posted to paint. <laughs> yes, well, you'd be jumping the gun if you were to wave goodbye to June already. Would we? Well, just between ourselves, if June wanted to stay at something, I could make that work, I think. I'm not entirely without influence at area, you know. Really? Yes, really. What, you could keep her at the neck? If she said she wanted to stay, yes. She's thinking about it. So if you don't want to lose her, now's the time to talk to her. Right. And don't tell anybody this came from me, right? Don't tell anyone what? Right. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, hey. Right, 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 okay. Follow me, everyone. Listen, follow me in the Cavalier. The restaurant's just off Jamaica Lane. Oh, oh, it's oh, behind a one-way sure. system, all right? Yeah, but what's it called? Hang on. Well, I don't know. I don't know, but I... I'm all right, all right. Where's the officer's car? We're in this one. Oh, cool. 
must be in that one. Yeah. Yeah. However, yeah. follow that cab. I've always wanted to say it. Where are we going, girls? We don't know, boy. Uh, yeah, just follow that blue cavalier in front. He knows where he's going. Yeah, follow that cab. You've already said that. If we can just check your wife's OK, we'll be on our way, sir. She's fine. It was just a row, OK? There you are. She's fine. Everything OK, madam? I'll leave you to it, then, Jim. Oh, you got somewhere else you'd rather be? Well, no, actually, I'd rather be anywhere than stuck in the panda with Gary. Why? Did he forget his deodorant? No. <laughs> failed his assessment, didn't he? He's sulking. Oh, dear. You failed the exam last year, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Thanks for reminding me. Yeah, well, uh, you didn't just give up, though, did you? You'd be letting your mates down if you just gave up. Precisely. It's what I keep telling him, but... Oh, never mind, Reg. We can't all be highly motivated thief-takers. Well, no, we... Mm. Later, Jim. Bye for now. <laughs> it's a domestic, all under control. Oh, domestic! How exciting! Yeah, all right, Gary. It might have been something. Turned out to be nothing special. These things do happen. Tell me about it. Not, not too fast, mate. You'll lose the others. Any idea where we're going, Dave? Yeah, yeah. Left. Next left. Sorry. That's it. Hey, everybody's gone left down there. Where? Down there, where everybody else has gone. I'll take the next left. No, you can't go down there. It's a one-way street. Look, didn't you see the signs? We'll be at the other end in a minute. Look, just stop the car, will you, and turn round. Don't worry, relax. Stop the car. Now what, eh? You tell me how am I supposed to find your friends if we stopped here? Have you been drinking? What's it to you? Do you know you're facing the wrong way in a one-way street, sir? Well, Jim. One way? What? <laughs> You're joking. Yeah. You seem to stop very suddenly. Oh, yeah. You've been drinking? No, of course not. Oi, where are you two going? All oh, right. Oh. Get out of the way! Stand still. No, I'm trying to get the index number. What's going on? Who's driving that vehicle? I don't know. It's a mini cab. Oh, yeah, and you've never met the driver before, I suppose. That's right. So how come you're trying to run away? Oh, I wasn't trying to run away. I was trying to help my friend. Look, she's had a bit too much to drink. Like your friend in the car? Look, I already told you it's a minicab. Which firm? Well, I don't know. I didn't book it. Oh, really? Look, I'm in the job. WPC Acton from Sun Hill. You must be new at Stafford Road. I suppose she's a police officer too, is she? <laughs> yes, she is. So you'll both be able to show me your warrant cards? <gasps> our warrant cards are in our handbags. Our handbags... Don't tell me. They're in the car that's just driven off. You must think I'm stupid or something. Yeah, table for 13, please. 13? Yeah, well, there's only 11 of us at the moment. There's two more to come. I think you'll find us. Yeah, we'll we'll yeah it's good, isn't it? It's superb, isn't it? Yeah. 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 We should have gone to the round. <laughs> yeah, well, at least June knows where it is. She'll never find us here. <laughs> well, their driver can ask one of our drivers for directions. It's not a problem, okay. is it? Sort it out, Dave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. Let's have some pack dams while we're waiting. Here, mate, 20 pack of dams and then parts of Lyca, please. I'll have a sign. <laughs> it's good laugh, isn't it? Yeah, not right. Well, don't worry, she'll be here in a minute. Why don't you ring and check where they are? Hey? Ring the cab firm and find out what happened. Yeah, yeah, in a second. I've got a lot on my mind at the moment. Come off it, Dave. Yeah, George. <laughs> so, so. A person is guilty of theft if he dishonestly appropriates property belonging to another with the intention of permanently depriving the other of it. Now, who else do you know who isn't in the job can quote you that definition? 292 from Sierra Charlie, receiving. Go ahead, Sarge. Are you free to deal, Oliver? Negative. I'm talking to a couple of females. One of them's inebriated, the other claims she's a WPC at Sun Hill. Over. What's her name? Ackland. Alpha, Charlie, Keeler, Lima, Alpha, November, Delta. 
First name June, over. For your information, Oliver, I've known June Ackman for about 10 years. She is a WPC and she is based at Sun Hill, over. All received, over. I suppose I owe you an apology. You also owe me a handbag. Why didn't you take the keys out of the ignition when you were talking to the driver? Sorry. I'm a bit new to all this. You're a probationer? <coughs> yeah, uh, <clears throat> still got a few things to learn, I suppose. Well, uh, just a few. Right, so how are you going to get our property back and find this minicab driver? Find him? Yeah, well, you smell alcohol on his breath, didn't you? Yes. So you need to find him and breathalyze him, and then you need to find our handbags. What are you going to do? I'll call for assistance. Quinnon! Q-U-I-N-N-A-N No, no, N. N. N for nutter. Hello? Yeah. Ah, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah, that's it, Quinnon. At the Blue Anchor. Yeah, you remember the booking, yeah? Hello? Hello? Well, can you... Yes, hello? Can you tell me what happened to the fifth cab? Hello? <laughs> hello, can you tell me what happened to the fifth cab? Hello? Didn't you get the index? Started with a B. Oh, that's a great help. There can't be that many B Reg Sierras in London. It was blue. Oh, why didn't you say so? Go on, lads. You heard Oliver's description. Find that car, you cretin. Hello? Dave? Where the hell are you? Nick Slater's note said you were going to the Crown, then onto the Raj. I'm round the corner from the Raj now. Where exactly are you? Look, fellas, I had some credit cards in that handbag. I need to get to a phone to cancel them. Sure, June. You uh, want to lift back to the Nick? Yeah, that'd be great. And also, I think Paul could do with a cup of coffee. <laughs> right. Up in the back of the van. Can I come too? Yeah, if you must. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm sorry about this, June. It's all right. I think blame you, Paul. Well, this will be the first time Oliver's been in the back of our with a couple of bodies. He's not a great one for making arrests, is he, Damien? A stranger to the custody suite. He nearly caught up with that shoplifter last week. What, the one in the wheelchair? Oh, yeah. <sighs> she must have been moving it to get away from Oliver. Look, do you think we could get a move on? Not too far, sir. I might throw up. Oh, don't worry if you do. Oliver can clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, what kept you? An attempted burglary. It should have taken 15 minutes to report. Being told we were going to the Crown and then the Raj, and then being misdirected by some idiot whose batteries need recharging. Still, you're here now, aren't you? You've got some catching up to do. Don't worry about that. I don't suppose you've seen June on your travels. She's not here then. No, she is. We haven't seen her since we left the Blue Anchor. The Blue Anchor? I thought we were going to the Crown. Nick said, oh yeah, very funny. You haven't got any more little jokes up your sleeve, have you? Not at the moment, no. Cheers. Steve. <laughs> Steve. Yeah, another cup of coffee. Thanks, Jane. Did you get through? Yeah, yeah, I catch you on my credit cards, no problem. The driver might not nick the bag, especially if he finds the warrant card. <sighs> yeah, well, I'd rather not take any chances. So what now? You're going to find the others? Yeah, well, when we can find out where they are, Oliver is supposed to be making inquiries. I suppose you don't feel up to it. I think I'll get a lift back to the section house. That's me for the night. Sorry. Look, don't apologise. Get that coffee down you and then I'll try and find some transport. Listen, I know it's up to you, but would you think you might stay on at Sun Hill? I don't know. But you're still thinking about it, aren't you? I mean, you might not go. No, I might not. You know, we'd all really love it if you did stay. Really? Yeah. Me and Narika, we were just saying tonight how you've always been there for us when we've needed some advice. You're like a... Big sister. Well, yeah, if you like. Yeah, I'm not sure I do like, especially if you mean an older sister. A couple of years, if that. Oh, watch out. It's PC Plonker. All right, let's see if he's found out anything. Any luck? Yes and no. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Have you found my colleagues or not? Hang on a sec. Look, give me a break, will you? I am supposed to be out celebrating my promotion. It's not my fault you're not. Well, whose fault is it then? The minicab driver. Oh, yeah, well, I'd blame him if you'd arrested him, but you let him get away, didn't you? 
Hasn't anybody taught you about stop and search? How about a few things shouted at me, if that's what you mean? Have you got anyone puppy walking you? It was supposed to be Damien Kelleher. You know, from the van. Yeah, I know Damien. Yeah, well, he couldn't stand me. It was obvious from the start. I did my best, but he wouldn't stop taking the mickey. So I had a word with the team inspector. You went straight to the inspector? All the sergeants think Damon's great. They weren't going to listen to any complaint from me. Neither did the inspector. Uh, Paul, I won't be a minute. There must be someone who can help you, give you advice. Nope, it's too late for that. Once everyone sees you as the victim, no one wants to help you out. So what are you going to do? <sighs> Jack it in. Oh, just like that? Well, I'll give it a couple of weeks, and if it doesn't get any better, then I'm going back to my old job. And what was that? I was a traffic warden. Well, I mean, that's a responsible job in its way, but uh, I'd stick with this one as long as you can, eh? Oh, I don't know. I couldn't even find where your mates went. I asked a couple of people if they knew any curry places near Jamaica Lane, but they didn't. You see, you haven't talked to PC Quinnan. So you don't know which cab firm he used, you haven't found the cab driver or our handbags. Sorry. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go to the cad room. I'm going to get somebody to phone Sun Hill. Someone must know where this curry house is. All units from Sierra Oscar. Can anyone think of an Indian restaurant with a late license near Jamaica Lake? Why are you angry, sir? If that was you, Reg, can you help with my inquiry or not? Yeah, possibly. It uh, sounds like algae barges. What's this all about, sir? It's a long story and I don't want to clog up the airways. Can you ring me? Will do. There's a phone box around the corner. I know. In for full gardens. I know where it is. It's the first time I left. Reg! Now, the trouble with graduates is they can't expect to get promoted just because they got a degree. The only degree worth having is the one from the School of Hard Knocks. You wouldn't get a degree from the School of Hard Knocks. You'd get A-levels from the School of Hard Knocks. For a degree, you'd have to go to the um, University of Life. Well, whatever. I just don't think people like Gary McCann should expect to get to the top, take it for granted. I hope he does, though. We need more people like him. What, graduates? No, black people. Do you know how many black inspectors are on the Met? No. No? Nor do I. Uh, but there's not many. We should look after Gary if we don't want to lose him. Is he thinking of quitting? He's very depressed. Well, four hours with Reg Ollis should cheer him up. <laughs> oh, speaking of... Wait, sir. Wait, can I have two lagers, please, and a couple of menus for my friends, yeah? yeah uh, David, I just need to ask you a question. We well, should have phoned me, Reg. Hmm? We haven't got that number. Do you know what happened to June and Polly? Yeah, they're both at Stafford Road. Look, June's lost her handbag that she had in the cabin. But you booked the taxis, didn't you? Yeah. Well, what firm did you use? Only cars. I've got a car on me, huh? I don't know, this one. Yeah, Gary, do you want to pop the dog? No, just the car, please, Dave. Sierra Oscar from 35A receiving. Go ahead, Gary. We found Dave Quinn in. He's in a restaurant called RG Barge's Halal, 57 Newcon Lane. And the minicab firm he used was Canley Cars, 278 Skid Hill Road. Over. Do you want Gary to go to Canley Cars? To look for June's handbag? Nah, I'll just push him over the edge. Uh, pass the info back to June at Stafford Row. Ah, June? Uh-huh. Canley Cars. Do you know them? Oh, I know where they are. I'm sending young Oliver to sort it out. Well, can I go with him? Well, I'll hold his hand. Somebody ought to. Sierra One from Sierra Oscar, 1616 Sedkin Avenue. A disturbance. Can you deal? Oh, no. It's that man who was arguing with his wife. All received. Come on, let's back them up. No, 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 no. We can leave it all to them this time. We're only a minute away. Not for much longer, we're not. It's only a domestic. Oh, well. If it's not good enough for you, don't let it make you change your plans for the evening. I mean, if you'd rather drive around empty streets avoiding trouble, that's fine by me. After all, you are the one with three stripes. Oh, no. I was forgetting. You haven't got any stripes at all. Do you know something, Reg? You really can be a pain in the backside when you want to be. Do you know that? Yeah, I've been told that a few times, but I don't listen to other people. You ought to try that yourself sometimes. What? 
not listening to other people. Isn't that what tripped you up on the assessment? Not being able to make your mind up how to read the situation? Not being able to use your own imagination? Who told you that? I have my sources. It's a pity I'm on foot. It'll take ages to get to Canley Cars. Well, why don't you ask for a lift? No one ever gives me a lift. Hey, I'll ask Damien. No. Ask him. Damien. I could do with a lift to uh, Skid Hill Road. <laughs> well, you stand in front of the Nick with your thumb in the air. It's not just Oliver who needs a lift. I'd like one too, please. Oh. Well, why didn't he say so? Come on, then. No, hang on a minute. I mean, maybe it's not my place to say, but I really think you should have helped Oliver out just then without me having to step in. Now, what's the problem here? I haven't got one. Do you think you can do the job without help? No. No. And when did you most need help? When you were new, when you had no idea how to do the job properly? June. I know all this. So why are you treating Oliver like he's an idiot? Because he is an idiot. Do you know, from what I've seen of you two tonight, you're behaving just like a couple of school bullies. Now, why don't you give Oliver a break? Do you want a lift or not? That's a transferring media. What do you think he's up to? Who knows? Might be looking for a stereo. Yeah? Might be. But we're not bothered. We won't be losing any sleep now. All units from 394, chasing male IC1 north of St. Cole Avenue. He stabbed Jim. Ambulance required at number 16. Sierra Oscar to all units. Sedcut Avenue, officer in need of urgent assistance. Over. 85 on white, 22 as well. 8522 received. 394, location. Left into Backford Lane. 1616 Sedka Avenue. One male police officer with stab wounds. Nothing further known. Just put the knife down. Sierra Oscar from 358. We were with 394. We're in an alleyway top end of Bagford Lane. Drop it now. Nobody will get hurt. The suspect is here. He's trapped, but he's got a knife, over. Received. Approach with caution. 2-2, two, two, location. Turning into Bagford Lane now, Sarge. Drop it. It was between me and my wife! But not anymore, so the best thing you can do is to put the knife down. I didn't want to hurt anybody. I couldn't stop her shouting, I had to shut her up! Did he stab his wife? I don't know, I didn't see her. It was a private matter! Yeah, it's growing more public by the minute. Just give it up, eh? You haven't got a chance. Now step away. Step away. Come on, let's go and help Jim. Oh, well, you want to help him now, do you? It's a bit bloody late for that. You right, Jim? I never liked Claire very much. More of a Chardonnay man myself. There's never a copper about when you need one, is there? Yeah, well. Look, Inspector Kent's going to tell your wife, all right? Then he takes us in queue. Thanks, Richard. Right. Only a domestic, eh? How do you feel about it now? It's not my fault it went off like this. Oh, yeah, well, correct me if I'm wrong, but I seem to remember you're the one who said we shouldn't back him up. It shouldn't have needed backing up! Yeah, well, as it happens, they did, and we weren't doing anything better at the time, so we should have helped them, like I said. OK, I got it wrong. Yes, you did. All right, so you took a bit of a knock this afternoon. Well, I'm sorry about that, but it's happened to better officers than you, and they haven't suddenly stopped doing what they're paid for. I haven't stopped doing what I'm yes, paid for. Yes, you have, Gary. Just because you're going to be a PC for a bit longer than you planned, suddenly the job's not worth doing anymore. Never mind all the blokes who've stayed out rank all their lives. You're too good to be only a constable. Reg, it's not like that. Yes, it is. Look, you reckon because you've got a degree, you should have a bit of a better career. Well, if you want a career suitable for a graduate, go and be a librarian. Sierra Oscar 85 from Sierra Oscar. Receiving. Go ahead, South. 
Are you still in Second Avenue? Yeah, but we've done all we can here. Yeah? What have you got? 784 Nelfield Road. The all-night garage. A theft of petrol. Can you deal? Yeah, we'll do. Do you want me to drive? No. Why? I thought you preferred being a passenger. Must be decent food. The natives eat here. Hmm. See any natives in here? No. Just a few animals. Did you get the registration number of the vehicle? Not at the time. Well, I played it back on the video and got it from that. I've written it down for you. Yeah, can you uh, date that and sign it for us, please? If you like. You tried paying by credit card, but I spotted it was a woman's. Uh, here we go. Miss J. Ackland. Ackland? Reg, can I have a look at that? So what are you going to do? Well, well, check the index, see if we can find a registered keeper. Reg! Hopefully it'll be local. I'll be able to get a name and address. Yeah. Sierra Oscar from 358. Can you do a car check, please, on that making off Nailfield Road? 358, you ahead. Yeah, it's Bravo 657 Yankee Mike Mike, over. Received, stand by. Can you describe this man? Fat and ugly. Are you allowed to write that? If that's what you say it was, yes. Greek, I guess. Sweating like a pig. How's that? Lovely. 358, receiving. Go ahead. Your PNC B657YMM comes back to the Blue Fort Sierra. No reports. Registered keepers shown as a Mr. Gregory Ellis from Newcastle. Do you want the full address? No thanks, Sarge, but can you tell us where June Ackland is? According to Sierra Charlie, she's on her way to Canley Cars. Received. Uh, Reg, do you want to go this way too? Yeah, if you like. So where did Damien say they'd be? Probably by the flats. Well, I don't want you two doing here. Ah, oh, following your trail. Eh? Hey? Uh, June, is this yours? It certainly is. Where was it? Yeah, we've caught some bloke trying to buy petrol with it. Fat, sweating, Greek. Does that ring any bells? Yeah, that's my cab driver. According to them, he doesn't work for them. You didn't get a name, did you? Yeah, Gregory Ellis from Newcastle. Who's this, by the way? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Gary, Reg, this is Oliver Oxley. Hello. Hello. Well, that's it then. Not much else we can do. Do you really mean that? Because if you do, you definitely should go back to being a traffic warden. Well, what do you suggest we do? Well, we find our cab driver. How? Gary Reg. Listen and learn, mate. Right, we need to book a cab. So he's put his hands <laughs> down her blouse and he's fiddling, fiddling around around there for a couple of minutes. So he pulls them out and he says, Madam, you are 45 years old. She said, that's amazing, how do you know that? And he I'm said... standing behind you in the post office. <laughs> I've heard it already, mate. Oi, Packy, get us another lager. Where's our king prawn korma, darling? No idea. Well, don't you work here, then? No, I don't. You sure? You look the type. Oh, goodness gracious me, yes. <laughs> Nick Norica, do you want me to sort this or what? It's all right, Nick. There's nothing to sort. <laughs> well, 171 from 358. A yellow Cavalier just starting up. Registration, Bravo 742 Kilo Golf Whiskey. Machine. Coming your way. June, Yellow Cavalier. Right. <sighs> Looking for a cab, darling. Are you a taxi? Yes, I am. I'm on the way to a job, but uh, I could do you first if you want. What do you think, sir? Would you mind stepping out of the car? What's going on? What's all this? Out of the car, please. Take that. Any more of you coming? Well, not yet, but who knows? Hey? Is this your car, sir? Yes. And you're working as a minicab? Yes, for Canley Cars. In that case, why were you applying for trade on the street? You know, it's only licensed taxis who are allowed to do that. Oh. Uh... I thought you was the job from number 56. Oh, no, you didn't. I heard what you said when you stopped. 
Sir, are you aware of the road vehicle construction and use regulations? No. What about the Road Traffic Act? Because I could, if I wanted to, call for the Traffic Division Unit to attend an inspectoral vehicle, just to make sure it complies with every aspect of those parts of the legislation. It could take that unit some time to arrive. It could take that unit some time to inspect your vehicle. Uh, you weren't hoping to do too much work tonight, were you, sir? Of course, if you were to point us in the direction of a colleague of yours, we'd turn our attention to him and let you get on with making some money. Which colleague? Who do you want to know about? Gregory Ellis. Greg? He doesn't work here no more. He went back north. And what sort of car does he drive? A Sierra. But he lost it in a poker game a couple of months ago. That's why he went back north. The geezer who won the car from him does some work for us now when he's a bit short of cash. Freddy is called. Freddy something. Do you want his address? I can get it for you, no problem. Thank you, sir. That'll be very helpful. Oh, sorry, mate. I hope you didn't wet yourself. Just keep yourself to yourself for the rest of the night, all right? What happens if I don't? Hey? Hey? You want a hand, Nick? Oh, I'm in the way. I didn't realise it was this sort of bog. I'll just keep it shut so for you. Take it easy. Take it easy. I'll leave you two lovebirds alone. <sighs> What's the matter with you? You think the night out's not complete without a punch-up? He's been winding me up all night, Dave. We'll rise above it. Don't forget, you're a copper. Yeah, well, just for tonight, I wish I wasn't. Shouldn't we follow code D of pace? I'm sure I read about a case like this where they, sh they should have had an identity parade and they didn't. And then the case got thrown out in the appeal. And then the officer in charge yeah, was... Yeah, just relax, all right? Yeah, but... If... We have every right to knock on his door and ask a few questions. Yeah, but if we... Did... Let's just wait and see if he disputes identification. Go on then, knock on the door. Hello again. As soon as I found your police badge, I knew I was in trouble. Not much dispute there. You gonna nick him? Me? Well, it's your ground, your arrest. I think he fancies you. Yeah, but he's with his boyfriend. Oh, which one's that? The tall, dark, ugly one. Can't you narrow it down a bit? I think she's sulking now. She looks hungry. Here you go, darling. Right, I've had enough of this. Yeah, me too. I'm stuffed. Yeah, well, you're about to be. You got a problem there, Nick? Yeah, right. No, I think the problem's about to leave. Gentlemen, please! This is a respectable establishment. Don't worry, don't worry. We're police officers. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I'm perfectly serious, yeah. <laughs> Ah. Tough looking lad, Oliver. Any problems? No. Good as gold. Mm. It's your first arrest. Not your last, I hope. No chance. You haven't found our handbags, have you? Sorry, Juno. He said he chucked them. Is there anything else we can do for you? Actually, yeah. You can lend me 20 quid. <laughs> what for? A taxi. No, we'll give you a lift. I haven't decided where I'm going yet. There you go. Cheers. Come on then, Oliver. Let's get your man booked in. <laughs> Thanks, Sarge. You gonna wait for a lift? No, I think I'll walk. Yeah. Oh, well. See you tomorrow, then. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Cheers, Reg. Oh, yeah. Don't mind if I do. You're hungry now, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that, Chief. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I just couldn't face it. I mean, I'm pleased for you, but 
<laughs> the thought of everyone slapping you on the yeah, back. It's all right, don't worry. I'd have been exactly the same. Probably worse. No, you wouldn't. You never know. You okay about the job? You're not having any doubts, I hope. A couple of hours after I first got the result, I was sure I was going to quit. And now? Nah, I'm not going anywhere just yet. What about you? You thinking of leaving Sun Hill? I don't know. Possibly. Oh, go on. If I'm going to pass my assessment, I'm going to need some help. And there are worse places you can work than Sun Hill. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> you think they'll still be in the restaurant? Oh, yeah. They'll be there till chucking out, so I think. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on. Come on. If you don't let go, all of you! Just listen to me! Are you trying to figure out what I'm going to do? All of you! All of you! Are you not all coppers, are you? Yeah! What, even the old slap? Yeah, especially him, he's a chief inspector. If I got you on your own, you wouldn't last a minute. Oh, yeah, you reckon. Leave it! Get him! Oh, look what! We've all his mates here! Oh, good idea! Hey, hey, what's going on? Oh, dang you! Yeah, I wondered who I was going to get when I phoned. You phoned? Yeah, yeah, I'm the informant. What do you think? Um, a fray or violent disorder? You're all Sunhill PCs, then. Yeah, I know. Shall I nick them? I'm good at that. Are there any offences? Uh, no, I don't think so. Well, I, I'd, I'd like a word about that, actually. What the hell's going on? Well, there's no ambulance on the scene. That's a good sign. What? <laughs> You, Mr. Good Curry? Yeah, I can tell. What's been going on, sir? <laughs> Just the usual good night. <laughs> Excuse me. Nick. Yeah? Sorry, mate, but um, I've got to do this. <clears throat> do what? I've got to arrest you. Hey, come off it. Hey, look, I'm upset about this too. But there's been an allegation of an assault and there's a young kid with a broken nose. Well, where, where is he? He's having first aid at the moment. You know, I didn't hit anybody. It's not what the witnesses say. Witnesses? Oh, hold on, what witnesses? Come on, Nick, let's do this quietly. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence. If you do not mention when questioned later, something which you rely on in court, anything you do say, we're taking it. Dave, evidence. Dave, tell him I didn't do nothing. Don't bother, Nick. He was one of the witnesses. What? Come on. Oh, come on, this is come ridiculous. On, Nick, come on. Mind your head, mind your head. What have they got you for? Hey? What have you done? Nothing, I'm a police officer. Not you as well. You're not really going to go, are you? <sighs> no. No, she's not. We all really want you to stay, June. You like oh, it? Don't tell me, big sister. I was going to say another figure. <laughs> oh, that's even better. <laughs> I mean, why risk some out of the way posting when you've got all the fun of Sun Hill to enjoy? Yeah, well, I have to admit there are less friendly Nicks than Sun Hill, but I don't know. Yeah, I probably will stay. I'm better the devils you know, I suppose. You're right. <laughs> Come on, let's have a celebration. Who knows a good club round here? <laughs> ah, well, there's the G-string and there's a new one on Carby Street. Dave, what do you want us to do with your, uh, prisoner? Well, you can, uh, drop him off at the club. Yeah, if it's on our way. Uh, which one are we going to, Gary? Uh, I think the new one on Carby Street. Right, take Nick to the G-string. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, do you think he's going to see the funny side of that? Well, if he can't take a joke, he shouldn't be in the job. Yeah, that's right. Shall I call for some cabs? Dave, thanks to you and the cab you called earlier, I spent most of the evening chasing around after my handbag instead of tucking into a chicken tikka masala. Now, if you touch one button of that, I'm going to insert it where you can't extend the aerial. <laughs> Simple no thank you would have sufficed. <laughs>